Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to uh, step in. I know everyone's probably seen enough um, videos on the recent update, but I just wanted to do a special video just focusing on Pelica. Uh, it's, I think it's buff, really underrated, especially by watching and listening to the other YouTubers. Um, 120 special rend and if it ties then the opponent is slewed from battle so you may be looking at that, oh no, nothing else is 120 what what else are we going to use 120? well let's just get into that for, for a little bit um, for other things that are 120 people have maxed out their Gyaradoses if anyone's maxed out their uh, Moultries, any of those 110s that are maxed out that's going to be a perfect um, perfect um, match for um, also the uh, Rayquazas, if you send it up against a Rayquaza you can be fairly confident with the result um, if it gets a tie then you'll be ecstatic <laughs> um, but if you're running uh, Pelica into someone who's using a water team with Manaphy then suddenly Blastoise's all become 120 and any of those 100 attackers hitting 120's so that's another place where it's going to be massive um, it's, so in the coming gym cup I'm sure there's going to be so many water decks and water decks going to be the most dominant even though grass decks were amazing in the previous grass gym cup water decks because of mana fears, they're going to get the movement buff and they're going to get the damage buff and it's going to be amazing um, you know how a few videos ago I've been considering getting Sceptile I've always wanted a mana feed, and now is even more of a reason to want a mana feed. Now that the meta is completely shattered, no more reunitless, no, well, far less uh, impressive reunitless and deoxys decks, a water deck is looking so appealing at the moment. Uh, I've been working on a whole lot of decks, they've all been really fun, but I've always wanted to try a water deck, and especially with this uh, water gym cup coming up at the moment, I'm considering using my materials on a mana feed. But aside from that, uh, Pelica against the water, water, um, water deck coming. It's going to be crazy. With Cairo getting released, it's going to be another 120 damage. More, more chances that people are going to be running it. And if you want to run into, run them into each other, 120s, boom, exclude. Just start excluding things. Um, it's going to be crazy. But also, if you have a water deck yourself and you're running Pelica, it's Water Dragon, buffed from Manaphy. It's going to be 140. Do you know who else is 140? Sceptile. It's going to be pretty interesting. It can be a very good counter for Sceptile and removing Sceptiles from games. I mean, you can you can run it into a Sceptile, especially if you're running a, if you're running a Manaphy uh, with with Pelica, and you come into Sceptiles, you can just ram him into into Sceptiles with a few double chances if you want. Uh, his 70 is going to go up to 90, so it's going to pit tie with uh, Sceptile if uh, Sceptile is just coming at you, spinning a one move. But if you hit your 120, and even if he hits his double and gets a tie, he's gone from the duel. Man, it's. I think it's quite an exciting prospect. It's about one third of his chances, so that's. not so great, but if you're running double chances, I mean, I, I love a double chance and with more buff damage it's going to be just amazing so I'm quite interested and looking forward to seeing how this goes um, also if you're using Pelica just be extremely smart with your matchups put them against things that are either the same 120s that you're going to be getting your double ups or just things that are he's going to have very good matchups with At all, as always be wise with your matchups but if you're smart with Pelica's matchups, it can actually be extremely, extremely useful mon at the moment and just have in your deck. So I don't have one at the moment, but if I did, I'd probably give it a go. Um, but yeah, his ability is looking very, very interesting. Not ability, special rims ability. So I hope that has been very interesting for you guys. I hope a few more ideas have come in. If you have a Pelica and you want to run it, give it a go. Let me know how it works for you guys. Let me know if you see a few uh, ejections in your duels. 
um, I'd love to hear and see about that. Um, but if this has been useful for you, if you've got one, if if you've just been wondering about it, just yeah, I would love to hear from you. How how do you find these videos? I've got a few more planned coming up, so if you like them, definitely let me know. And I hope to hear from you as always. I really appreciate it when you guys do let me know what you think about the videos. But Pelica, good, bad. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and especially for the coming Water Gym Cup. Uh, let me know if you've got one, if you're going to run them, or if you'd consider running them in a water deck. But, yeah, I'm interested. Um, let me know. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you've learned something. So, have a good day. Love to hear from you.